Up next, we're going to Sunnyside to take a look at voting in the school district. Let's take a look at our sources. David Montes, an ACLU attorney. Maria Fernandez with the Empowering Latina Leadership and Action. Plus, Raquel Lopez, the mother of a Sunnyside student. Local school districts and governments have come under criticism in recent years, with some lawyers claiming their elections systems don't give all voters a fair chance of electing their own representative. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us claims like that have resulted in a big, big change for the Sunnyside School District. A Yakima County Superior Court judge recently approved a change in Sunnyside School District school board voting system from one that's at large to one that's district based. ACLU attorney David Montez says the problem with at large voting is it means everyone gets a choice in who is going to represent a voting district, including people who don't live in that district. So you're not choosing the person who is making decisions about where your child goes to school. The whole town is picking that. And so when there's a problem, you don't have someone to go to. When there's an issue in the school, you don't have someone to go to. That's why Empowering Latina Leadership in Action, or AF for short, decided to challenge the district's election system, claiming it dilutes the votes of Latinx voters and prevents them from having an equal opportunity to elect candidates of their choice or influence the outcome of elections in violation of the Washington Voting Rights Act. The ACLU sending the notice on behalf of AIA and its members, Sunnyside student Jerica Nava and Raquel Lopez, a mom who says she got involved after her son was assaulted by other students in the district earlier this year. I have been to every single school school board meeting and I have given public comment at each one. Um, unfortunately, I don't feel like my concerns were very heard or much was done about it. The notice of intent to challenge the election system sent back in April. The group coming to a settlement agreement with the school district in June. An agreement approved Friday by a Yakima County Superior Court judge. Our biggest hope is that this means representation on the school board. We know that next year all five seats come up for uh, election which means it, there's a huge possibility of at least having three seats within the school board that will be occupied by Latinos, Latinas to represent and mirror the community that it serves. I reached out to Sunnyside School District officials who provided me with a statement saying, quote, Sunnyside School District was notified in April by the ACLU that there was an issue. We weren't aware of this before that time. We immediately began working with them to find a remedy to allow all voters to have equal representation. This teamwork allows us to give a better voice to our voters. The district has to implement the changes at a school board meeting by January 15th in order for it to be ready by fall 2025 when all five board positions are up for re-election. Reporting from the Ackerman Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now.